السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى صحبه وبارك وسلم examination of shoulder joint <coughs> in any examination what i do wash your hand uh, i am dr mohammed wahdan professor of uh, surgical anatomy uh, cairo university um, introduction um, Uh, please, uh, can uh, we examine uh, your shoulder joint? Permission. Then, uh, it is a simple uh, maneuver. Uh, we just ask you to do some uh, movement and we will bet uh, some things uh, very easy without any pain, without any discomfort. Explain the procedure. Uh, then, ask yourself, What is uh, the position of the patient? <coughs> Examination of joints of uh, the upper limb during sitting. And the doctor stand in front of the patient. Okay, I stand in front of the patient. Examination should be bilateral, including both sides. and comparing both sides <coughs> and starting always with the normal side. Um, first of all, in inspection. <coughs> Please tell me about the maximum point of pain. This sign is called pointing sign. To localize the site of the complaint and to localize the point of maximum pain. Please tell me where is the point of maximum pain. This is the point, is the maximum pain in this model. Uh, then look anteriorly and posteriorly on both sides. and compare both sides for any deformity or any swelling. In our uh, patient, there is no swelling, there is no deformity. Then, comment on the surrounding structures. The shoulder joint is surrounded by skin and the muscles. <coughs> We should comment on the skin and the muscle. The skin overlying the joint is normal with no redness, no scar of previous operations, no evidence of trauma, no discharging sinus. The muscles surrounding the joints are normal without any atrophy or wasting of muscles. What is the significance of uh, all this uh, comment? First of all, we comment on the skin. No redness. Redness exclude acute inflammation, like acute suburative Arthritis. Notice the charging sinus. This exclude advanced TB arthritis. In TB arthritis, there is causation called abscess formation and tar rupture of the cold abscess on the skin, leading to discharging sinus. No evidence of trauma. Because if there is any evidence of trauma, this may uh, indicate collection of blood inside the joint, a condition called hemoarthrosis. No scar of previous operation to exclude recurrent disease. 
there may be a disease like dislocation and the operation done for this dislocation and the patient has recurrent dislocation of the shoulder joint. Um, we comment on the muscle. The main comment is disuse atrophy. If uh, I have uh, a disease in the shoulder joint, I will move the shoulder joint normally? No. Because in any disease, there is pain leading to limitation of movement. And the patient is afraid of moving the shoulder. One week, two weeks, months, the patient does not move the joint, leading to disuse atrophy. In Arabic, al-'udw al-lazi la yustakhdam yadmur. If the muscle does not contract, leading to disuse atrophy over a long period. The most important uh, thing is examination of function. What is the function of this joint? Movement. The most important in inspection is active movements, which are the movement carried by the patient. We all know that the shoulder joint is ball and the socket joint. The movement of ball and socket is all movements. Flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, internal rotation and external rotation, and the circumduction. You should learn and teach the patient how to move the joint. Ask the patient to put the upper limb in the anatomical position. Put your upper limb like that. Okay? Um, okay. Ask the patient to take the arm forward. On the right side, and please on the other side. And by comparison, Selection of the shoulder is of normal range. No limitation of movement. No painful movement. Okay? Selection uh, of shoulder are uh, not like that. Selection of shoulder because the scapula is oblique on the chest wall. Therefore, the axis of flexion and the extension is oblique, laterally and forward. Therefore, flexion in this direction, toward the face. The normal range of flexion is about 160 degrees. <coughs> This is the zero position, which is anatomical position. And we can do 160 degrees. This is flexion. Can you take your arm backward on the right side and on the left side? Extension is equal on both sides. No limitation of movement. No pain. The normal range of extension is about 50 degrees. Extension, normal range is 50 degrees. Then, can you take the upper limb upward like that? In anatomical position. Abduction. This is a normal abduction without limitation of movement, without pain. What is the normal range of abduction? 
180. 180. Normal range and equal on both sides with no pain, no limitation of movement. Abduction. Can you do this on the right side? On the left side? The normal range of uh, abduction is about 50 degrees. Please put your upper limb in this position with the arm touching the chest wall. And please take your hand laterally. This is lateral rotation or also called external rotation. Its normal range is about 80 degrees, which is equal on both sides. Can you put your upper limb like that? On the other side, this is medial or also called internal rotation. Internal rotation or medial rotation is about 60 degrees. Um, this is active movement which is the most important because in most shoulder diseases, there is limitation of active movement. And the inspection, therefore, is localize the site of pain, which is called the pointing sign, deformity, swelling, active movement, surrounding structures, which are skin and muscles. After an inspection, palpation. First of all, we should show, show, uh, see two teeth of this temperature. Compare the temperature over the shoulder joint anteriorly, posteriorly, starting with the normal side, anteriorly and posteriorly. <coughs> the region of the shoulder joint. Don't look for me. Look for the facial expression of the patient for tenderness. No tenderness. After uh, temperature and tenderness, there are two movements. Basic movements and the motor power. Basic movement, put your uh, hand on the joint and the doctor move the shoulder joint of the patient. This is called the passive movement. Why you, show the, uh, you see the basic movement? For crepitus. Crepitus means osteoarthritis. In osteoarthritis, there is osteophytes, and during movement, the rough bone and the friction of the bone leading to crepitus. The motor power, as you take in uh, motor uh, examination, is uh, active movement against resistance. Push my hand. Abduction against resistance. Abduction against resistance. Push my hand. Flexion against resistance. Extension against resistance. <laughs> Because in long-standing joint disease, there is this disuse atrophy, and there is weakness of surrounding muscles. <coughs> we should palpate 
the joint for any swelling no swelling therefore palpation is <coughs> temperature tenderness look to the facial expression no swellings active movement against resistance which is motor power and the passive movements um, there is a golden uh, rule in uh, clinical surgery in any complaint in a limb we should examine all the structures in this limb there is complaint in the shoulder joint you should examine the other joints you should examine the arterial pulsations you should examine the sensation and the motor power for surrounding nerves why you should examine all uh, the structures in the stem including the lymph nodes pulsation sensation etc because this is maybe a radiating vein from a distal site in pain in the right shoulder beside examination of all joints you should examine the abdomen and the gallbladder because cholecystitis may radiate to the right shoulder Therefore, we should examine all the structures in the limb, other joint, pulsation, sensation, etc. Um, there is important uh, thing we should uh, take care from it. During active movement, you should fix the scapula. Why? Because a movement of shoulder joint, the movement may be in the glenohumeral joint between the glenoid cavity and the humerus, or the movement may be in a sternoclavicular joint. I ask the patient to do flexion. The patient may have pain in the shoulder and will produce this movement by the sternoclavicular joint in which moves the clavicle and the scapula. I ask the patient to do abduction because there is pain in the shoulder, the patient may elevate the shoulder like abduction and this is called trick movement. To know that the movement is surely from the glenohumeral, which is the shoulder joint, during the movement of the scapula, you should, during movement of the patient, you should fix the scapula like that. Fix the inferior angle of scapula between the thumb and the fingers. Then ask the patient to do flexion, extension, abduction, and adduction. To be sure that the scapula is fixed and the movement is shoulder movement, not movement of clavicle and the scapula at the sternum clavicular joint. Okay. Uh, this is the examination of shoulder joint. Never forget fixing the scapula during movement of shoulder shoulder.